cut a sleeve off a shirt, nice long shirt, and we tied the end, and we cut the end so you guys could see. See, we cut the end, and we made it nice and long. And we put our names on it, and I put mine as JCYS. You guys want to make a PJ hat? That would be awesome. Um, we also, we created our own little nook in, in Gigi's room. So you guys can see we put up some nice pictures and artwork for you guys. And we're nice and comfy with some loveys. You guys have loveys with you for this morning? Go grab your loveys if you want to bring a lovey. Yeah. Yeah. Have your loveys ready. So again, if you guys want to make a PJ hat, maybe mommy can help you later. Daddy can help you put a sleeve up. And it would be cute for when you come to story time with Joseph and Jesus, or with some other, with Angelica or Shauna, when we have some story times and some sing-alongs. Um, but it's great to see everybody. I hope you guys had a wonderful Passover and a wonderful Easter. We had a great time. I hope you guys had fun with the family. Lots of hugs and kisses to everybody. But it's great to see everybody this morning. Um, I am going to start off with a little story, and I think Gigi has some friends that are going to join us for this story. Can you guys see? Let me see. We have Gerald. Can you see Gerald? And then we have, oh, where's Piggy? Here. Here we go. Oh, Piggy ran away. Hold on. And there's Piggy and Gerald. Good morning, friends. Can you guys wave to Piggy and Gerald? Wave to Piggy and Gerald. All right, Gigi, you're gonna hold Piggy and Gerald. We're gonna read, Elephants Cannot Dance. Do you guys think elephants can dance? Let's find out. What do you think, Gigi? Think they could dance? All right, let's see. There's Piggy and her tutu. <laughs> Elephants Cannot Dance by Mo Willems. And I hope you guys know there's a YouTube video with Mo Williams too where you can learn how to draw and color Piggy. Okay, check him out on the YouTube. Mo Willems. Yeah. Gerald! Daddy, I can show him. You can show him. Let's dance. Can we dance? Oh, I can teach you. I am teaching all my friends to dance. I would love to learn how to dance, Piggy. Let's find out if Gerald's got the moves. But elephants cannot dance. You're kidding me, says Piggy. No, elephants can't dance. Look it up. We look it up in a book. Maybe we could Google it. Can elephants dance? Page 11, Gerald said. Let's check it out. Gerald, it does not say that you cannot try. It's important to try new things, right, guys? We don't know if we don't try. You're right, Piggy. I can try to dance. Can you try to dance? <laughs> I will try to dance. All right, let's try. Let's dance. Oof. Oh, Gerald fell already. Not so coordinated. Okay, let's go. Jump with me. And we can count to three. Can you guys count to three? One, two, two three. Two. Let's see. So, jump. Um, oh, yeah, I don't yeah. think Gerald can jump either. Can he jump? Jump. Jump. Oh, Gerald is not too coordinated. You were a little late on the jump. 
I was a little late on the jump. We will try again. We will try. Sigh. At least Gerald is trying. Make your arms this way. Can you make your arms this way? Up and down and to the right. Let's see. Come on, Gerald. You got it. We will try again. Ugh, we will try again. Lift your leg this way. Lift your legs. Can you lift your legs? Lift your legs. All right. Not so good, Gerald, with his legs. We will try again. We will try again. Up. Everybody reach up and reach down. Everybody down? Ha <laughs> ha, good job. Spin, now can we spin? Spin, spin, spin. Who can spin? Gigi, spin. Can you spin, Gerald? <laughs> stop. All right, stop. Forwards, move forward. Move backwards. Move forward. And let's move backwards. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. And then do the robot walk. Can you guys do the robot walk? Do the robot walk. Do the robot walk. I don't know. Gerald's looking like he's getting better. Enough. I think Gerald is tired. I have tried and tried and tried and tried and tried. But I am an elephant, and elephants just cannot dance. Oh, he's so sad. You see him? Gerald is so sad. Oh, Gerald. It's okay. That's why it's good to have a friend. Hello. We are ready to learn some moves. Who are those guys? Oh. I think there's some squirrels. I'm so sorry, I can't teach you now. Um, my friend is very sad. Piggy thinks that the squirrels want them to, him to teach them. Silly, we do not want you to teach us. We want to learn from the elephant. Oh, they like Gerald's dancing. Confused. Teach me, please. Me too. Me three. All right, now even Piggy wants to learn Gerald's moves. More feeling. Keep trying, keep trying. You're getting it. The end. Hope you guys like that story with Piggy and Gerald. That's one of our Favorites. Piggy and Gerald, can you say hi to all my friends? Hi, friends. We hope you enjoyed our story. We love you guys. We miss you guys so much. All right, guys. I also had another uh, little activity maybe you could try at home since it's spring outside. We want to try and grow some flowers or some plants. We have a real easy little activity that you can do with mom and dad. Mm -hmm. So what we have is a Ziploc bag with a little wet paper towel inside. And since we didn't have any beans at home, but if you have any dried beans, that would be the best thing to use. But we did it with lentils. So you put the lentils with the wet paper towel in a bag and then you can tape them maybe in the window and you can watch them grow and they'll start rooting and you'll see the roots, which is really cool. We did this in class with some of my friends in room four and we, plant, we put the seeds, we put the beans in there and they sprouted some roots. And then you guys, once they sprout the roots and you see them grow really big inside, you can put them in some dirt 
or a pot or put them maybe outside and they will grow nice and big. All right. You can try that activity and maybe next time I see you, you guys can show me if you have them or if they're growing. I'm going to leave mine and I'll see what's going on the next time we see you in a video. All right. Um, I also have another book if you guys would like to read a book. But how about we try um, some freeze dance? Yeah. Everybody up for some freeze dance so we can move our bodies around? Yeah. Yeah, let's move our bodies around. Are we ready? Everybody ready? I want to see all the good dance moves that Piggy and Gerald showed you, okay? All right. Great dancing, guys. I'm glad Piggy and Gerald show you some good moves. All right, my friends, I have one more book that I would like to read. And this is The Very Hungry caterpillar Monday morning and he's so hungry in the light of the moon a little egg lay on a leaf you guys see the little egg on the leaf yeah and then the moon we have a moon here too that Gigi made on Sunday morning the warm sun came up and pop out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. Oh, look at a caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, what do you think he found? He found one apple and he ate it, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still so hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums. One, two, three, but he was still so hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still so hungry. One, two, three, four strawberries. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still so hungry. One, two, three, four, five. Oh my goodness. This caterpillar is so hungry. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one sweet slice of cheese, and one slice of salami, one lollipop, one cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That caterpillar looks full. Think he's full? Let's find out. The next day, it was Sunday again. And the caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt so much better. Now he wasn't hungry anymore. And he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, giant caterpillar. <gasps> he built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks, and then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon to, and pushed his way out. And what do you think came out of the cocoon, guys? Yeah, I think I heard Brecken say what it was. <gasps> a beautiful butterfly. Isn't he beautiful? You guys, if you go outside, you know, I want you to look for some butterflies. Maybe the butterflies will start coming out soon. And then uh, you go on a nature walk. Maybe you can find a caterpillar that's going to make a cocoon and turn into a beautiful butterfly. Um, and make sure you guys get outside, ride your scooters, your bikes, and then make sure you're checking out nature, do a scavenger hunt, 
look for some squirrels, like in Piggy and Gerald, maybe some dancing squirrels we can find. And yeah. Then, yeah. And what, what else have you guys been looking for outside, huh? Did we find a lot of beautiful birds? I want you guys to maybe with mommy and daddy make a list. You know, with Gigi, we went outside and we, we drew some beautiful trees. We, be, or we used some bushes, some animals we saw outside. It was a very nice nature walk we took. You guys make sure, all right, to get outside, take a nice walk. We love you guys. Uh, make sure, remember, you could do your planting, do some seeds with your paper towel and a Ziploc bag. All right, I want to see some growing seeds, all right? Next time you guys can show me how if they're growing yet or not, and we'll keep watching them. All right? Hi, Clay, I see you. Hi, guys, I really miss you. I also had a suggestion for, um, for mommies and daddies at 2 o'clock. If you guys go on the Facebook Live, there is a Cincinnati Zoo. They do a live animals every day. So we'll start talking more about animals and what we learned about animals. And I'll get some books and we can learn what they eat, you know, if they make friends with other animals. It'd be great. So remember, 2 o'clock, you guys can check it out on Facebook Live. The Cincinnati Zoo does a great show with animals every day. Check it out. And don't forget, 11 o'clock, if you guys want to dance some more, Susan does some great music on Facebook Live also. You guys check out Susan. You know, we miss Susan. So we can check her out every day at 11 o'clock. Um, I think I have a special guest coming in right now. If you guys want to say hello to my special guest, Miss Debbie. Hey, everybody. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Hi Debbie. 